What's good guys? I'm in Maserati Alfa Romeo Daytona Beach. This is Ron's Rides and I'm in a beautiful, beautiful white 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Um, so since this is the 2018 model, this specific model, not all 2018s, not yet. Some of our, some of our software update, but this comes already with Apple CarPlay um, installed. And that's a big thing for 2018 for the Giulia because the 2017 models and below do not come with CarPlay. So I'm going to show you guys just a quick run through of the Apple CarPlay in this car. And hopefully you guys will get the gist of it. And then you'll decide if you want to purchase a vehicle from that perspective as far as infotainment goes. So I'm going to start it up here. Let's put the foot on the brake as always. And on a beautiful rest and just start stop. And we are started up. Now, in order to do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is also a thing as well. So you can do Android Auto, but I'm gonna show you Apple CarPlay since I have a car phone. A car phone, since I have an iPhone. Jeez Louise. Um, so I'm gonna take my USB cable here, a cable that you would normally use to charge the phone or connect it via USB. I'm gonna stick it down here into the USB slot. And then, I'm gonna take the other end of the cable and plug it into my phone. So take this end here and plug it into my iPhone. And I'll do that off camera and then you'll be able to see it in a second here. But once I plug it in, it's gonna recognize the phone and then it's gonna switch over right off the back. It's that easy. So now you see I have my phone. It says CarPlay on it. There you go. Now you do have to have Siri um, activated in order to get this to work. So keep that in mind that you do have to turn Siri on in order for the phone to communicate with the car. So now we have our CarPlay apps up there from, from your phone. Now, if you have more stuff downloaded, then it will show more apps and stuff. I barely use my phone for anything, you know, extracurricular activities like games and stuff like that. Um, or different types of apps that you know you might you might just have on your phone So say I didn't download Pandora or Spotify. They obviously wouldn't show up But since I have that specifically on my phone um, Then they show up so I want to show you what is a great thing about having this now is Your maps because I know a handful of you don't really like the the navigation on the Julia so you can either use Google Maps or Apple Maps and and use that instead so let's just go to it and I'm going to show you how to navigate that too as well you're going to use your big trusty button here to move left and right so you're going to twist left and right and you'll see the blue highlight there go to each one and then in order to select you just will push that in so we'll push it in and now you see that is the map, that is where we are at the auto mall right there, first turn in. So you can use this now as your navigation instead of using the standard system that Alpha has. And that's really cool, right? And then if you want to go back over here to get back to your selection, you would just like that. And now it shows all of those again. Right? That's pretty cool. Messages, you can go to your messages. I'm not gonna go into my text messages, but you get the idea. Um, if you wanna go into Pandora, let's just throw something on really quick without getting, so yeah, Fetty Wap Trap Queen. Without getting a copyright strike on this, let's just hit it. And I'll, I'll keep it at that. So isn't that cool? So you can play your music through that. We're gonna go back how I showed you before. Whoops, not that way. Um, we're gonna go back how I showed you before but that was a navigation through that. Your phone calling. So I just, um, to test this out, I called my girlfriend, but we'll go to phone and- Who would you like to call? Maserati. Which Maserati? You have 11. See, so I have a bunch of people from Maserati there um, that I could call. Suri's listening to me, so she's probably gonna wonder what I'm saying. 
Yeah, see, I'm afraid I can't search the web while you're in the car. <laughs> so see, but it's cool because you do your hands free, obviously, straight from your phone. So it's really cool to have that. Music, whereas we did Pandora, but you have music on your phone. You can select that. I don't think I have any music on my phone unless that, yeah, unless I still have YouTube from when Apple wanted to throw that on there, but nobody wanted it. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool to have all this stuff. Just going, that's music again. Um, you know, just to, to be able to have the option to do this, it's just, it's what the infotainment system needs. And that's Spotify. Let's see if it opens up. I might have, uh, I don't know if Spotify, I don't know if Spotify likes this. But that is pretty much a quick rundown of what you can do with Apple CarPlay. Like I said, if you have more apps, um, you know, it's, it's more helpful to have more things up there. Like, I don't do much with my phone. But now it is a thing. Really cool, right? I'm sure there are more little options and features which I will have to kind of take time to navigate through. So let's see if I can get on YouTube from here and see what happens. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can watch Ron's Rise videos <laughs> from your screen while, while you are um, driving, which is a good thing. But phone, same thing. That connects. If I go to Pandora, that connects. If I go to Maps. Now this is Google Maps. So Google Maps doesn't look like it's connecting but Apple Maps should work and that's the one we just used so we'll go to Apple Maps and yeah that shows up so since it's Apple CarPlay they want you to use Apple Maps which is good to know because I did not know that before um, so yeah anything that shows up on here is compatible either through using the phone or using it here on the infotainment screen and this is a 8.8 .8 inch screen so you have plenty of room to navigate through ever you know whatever you would like to do but I just wanted to give you guys a quick run through of that. Like I said, I just I just started using it a second ago and put it on camera for you guys so you can see that you know the 18s do have it. Not all of them have them yet, but this uh, Quadrifolio came with it, and here we are. So what do you guys think? So we'll hop outside of this just so you can get a quick peek of the car. So 2018. Julia Quadrifolio. I want to know what you guys think about Apple Maps, Apple CarPlay, Pandora, all that stuff. What would be your favorite feature? What would you use on the car for the Apple CarPlay? And I'll have to find an Android phone so we can try to do Android Auto too. For those who have an Android, you know, we don't want to exclude you guys on the experience and we want to show you that too as well. But I just wanted to see what you guys would think and see if it would be helpful for you guys if you wanted to use it. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm going to take this thing for a spin. We'll probably get a video on that. With that said, give this video a like if you did enjoy the demonstration. And definitely throw me a comment. Let me know what your favorite feature of this would be. And... Subscribe to the channel if you love the amateur Maserati Alfa Romeo videos. It's been Ron's Rides. Good one for you guys, hopefully. With that said, take it easy. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.